What's up everybody, it's Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today we're just going to show you how to get started with 3D Touch on the new iPhone 6S or 6S Plus. When getting started with 3D Touch, it's definitely worth going over the preferences, which can be found in your settings, general, accessibility, and then you just go down to 3D Touch. Now if for whatever reason you need to disable 3D Touch, you can do so with this little toggle up top. In addition, you can also adjust the sensitivity to 3D touch. You can go from light, medium, to firm. Now, personally, I like it at a light preference. I make it, it makes it feel a little bit faster and registers your press a little bit quicker. And right after you adjust it, you can actually test it out with this little image right here, this little thumbnail. I can go from medium all the way to firm. It might require a little bit more of a press. But like I said, I like it at light, but if you have heavy fingers, then you may want to keep it at firm. I'm not going to go over every stock application that uses 3D Touch, but I will say that most of them do. For a complete list of the ones that do, you can check out the guide over at Gadget Hacks. But things like entering a specific messaging thread or starting a new one is extremely simple with 3D Touch. If you want to take a different type of photo, a regular one, a slow-mo video, or you want to take a selfie, you can easily bring that up with 3D Touch using the app icon. But in addition to using the actual icon inside of the apps, let's go into photos, you can uh, use 3D Touch on images if you want to preview them, and you can swipe up for additional commands. And yes, you can use 3D Touch with third-party applications. I'll go over some of my favorites. Let's just go into Instagram. First, you can use the icon to do some of these basic tasks like make a new post, view activity, search, or do a direct message, but let's go inside of the application itself. And let's say that there's a profile linked out in one of these, in this uh, comment section or something, I can actually tap and hold on it and I can preview that person's profile, and then swipe up if I wanna follow or view their profile or send a message, so that's pretty useful. And when I go to the grid view, let's head into NFL, you don't even have to actually tap on an image, you can just use 3D Touch to bring it up and you can swipe up if you want to like it, if you want to comment, or again, send a message. Now this particular third party app called Magic Piano utilizes 3D Touch in a pretty creative way. It's essentially Guitar Hero, but for piano, and what it lets you do is add a little bit of, um, I guess, force or accents on different notes. As you can see, I can just tap as I would on a regular device. But if I use 3D Touch to press down harder on the display, you can hear how I'm adding accents to those notes, which is a pretty creative way, again, of utilizing this feature. There is another game that utilizes this, which you can check out in the full guide over at GadgetHacks.com. Another application that I enjoy using that uses 3D Touch is Open Table. If you've ever used it to get a table somewhere, then you know how easy it is, and it's even easier with 3D Touch. By using it on the icon, I can just quickly bring up my favorites. And when you're looking at a list of restaurants, you can use 3D Touch to bring up the location on a map, and then swipe up if you want to quickly get that table at a designated time. So again, this is just a preview of what you can do with 3D Touch on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. For a full list of all the stock apps that support it, check out the guide on Gadget Hacks. In addition, you'll see a list of third-party applications that use it, as well as the game that I mentioned in there. And it's a racing game, so you may want to check that one out and possibly download it. So definitely check out the full guide, again, at GadgetHacks.com. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome and very useful gadget hack videos. Thanks guys.